Hey, Eagle Run 2 3 here. Um, looking through the comments of the last couple videos, apparently ammo is not available in all places. And uh, that's really fine. I, I know that we all like to stock up on guns and ammo and anytime that there's, you know, panic or upheaval or whatever, uh, we, we turn to our guns and, and I, that's fine and great. And, and I do that as well. And I, I like to buy ammo. It's, it's, uh, it's something I am kind of always just keeping tabs on prices and uh, I like to do that stuff. And historically I've enjoyed doing that. I haven't done much of it in the last year, as you all know, but what are some things you should be buying instead of ammo? And some of these are things you should be doing instead of buying ammo. So, um, we're going to start off with ammo. Uh, even if your, even if your Walmart doesn't carry, um, I've, I've heard that like some Walmarts don't carry five, five, six and nine mil. Sometimes they're going to have some hunting cartridges that you may, that you may need. Um, but they almost always have these and these aren't even in, in the, in the lockup case. These are just on the shelf or at least in Texas they are. Um, I remember when these were seventeen ninety nine, and I bought a bunch of them cause I used to just shoot the fire out of clay pigeons. I was like, shooting clay pigeons is like one of life's treats in my opinion. I just absolutely love it. Um, so I, I, I shot a bunch of these back in the day, but I've been buying them. They were 17 and they went to like 20 and now they're like 24, 25, 26. That's, you know, that's not bad. hundred rounds. Of, this is bird shot, but whatever. You, if you can pick those up, get a couple of those, put them on the shelf. It might make you feel better. Um, but here's some things you should be buying instead of ammo. Number one, uh, inf inflation is real. And we're, I, in my opinion, uh, we're looking at some pretty serious inflation coming our way. Um, even though Joe Biden says that he's saving us 16 cents on our, on our cookouts, um, it's pretty infuriating because, you know, gas is high and you're going to burn that 16 cents just going to the grocery store and gas because gas is way higher than 16 cents. But um, you, you need some silver. And I, a couple of you said you're interested in me talking more about silver and crypto. Um, I, I might do that, but I'm going to tell you right now, every time you get paid, uh, there's a local silver shop. There's a, a coin store. Every time you get paid, go grab um, a couple ounces of silver. It's, it's 40 bucks, you know, um, 50 bucks for a couple ounces of silver. Um, last I checked, it was $26 or so. Um, the last time I bought a bunch, it was like $16 an ounce. Um, but it's about 10 bucks more than that now. Uh, but still buy some silver. If you can't afford gold, if you can afford gold, grab some gold. Um, it's quite a bit more expensive. Um, but you can get, uh, a, a, a amount of silver that's kind of satisfying, um, for, you know, 40, 50, 60 bucks, you'll be, you'll be, I think you'll be happy you did one day. Um, and that's just my personal opinion. Uh, grab some silver. Um, next grab some, grab some magazines. These are, um, standard capacity magazines, although this is for a, uh, AR 10, this is seven, six, two, three Oh eight. Um, I actually use this for my six, five Creedmoor grab extra mags. Uh, I did a video, look back a little bit, uh, outlining my system of how many mags do you need? Um, go check that video out. If I, if I think of it, I'll, I'll, I'll tag it, but, um, you need some, you need some extra mags. I, you need at least 10 per gun but in a nutshell. Um, I break down why and where you can expand, um, in that video. Cause it's the whole video is just about that. Buy some extra mags. They're the price on them right now is not bad. Um, it's not bad at all. So go get a 10 pack from Palmetto state army or something. Um, I, last I checked, they had a 10 pack of mags and a, a gun case, uh, a zipper, uh, gun bag, uh, for like 120 bucks. Pretty good deal. Um, you need a couple extra parts. Um, the number one thing that's going to happen if your, if your rifle is not working or going bad, is going to be the bolt. You can pick up an extra bolt for 50, 60, 70 bucks. Buy an extra bolt. If you can't afford to get a whole BCG. Um, obviously this is 308. This is, or this is six, five Creedmoor, but, um, 308, this is a big one. So it might look a little different than the ones for the AR 15s, but Grab some extra parts. Um, just get the bolt if that's all you can get. Get a whole extra BCG. Um, maybe grab an extra firing pin, but most likely you're gonna have a problem with the extractor. Um, maybe even buy an extra extractor. You can probably pick those up for a couple dollars. So um, some extra parts. Uh, next, um, I'm looking at adding um, some flashlights and uh, some, some more water filtration. Um, those are on my Amazon list right now. And I'm going to be adding those things. So, you know, think about camping supplies. In fact, go camping. Um, instead of buying ammo, go camping. 
Uh, that doesn't really make sense, but um, go camping, take a look at what you got. What are you using? What are you not using? Get your stuff out of the packages. Um, so many people that are outdoor enthusiasts still have a bunch of brand new gear. Um, get out there, go, go, go for a day hike. Take your kids, go for a day hike. Take your wife, um, throw a couple sandwiches in a bag. Everyone will love it. Kids will love it. Wife will love it. Um, whatever, go camping, go hiking. And then you can kind of see what you need. Um, you might need a new bag. You might need a new backpack. Um, gear like that, uh, that you can buy right now, if you have money right now and you can buy those things right now, they are going to be cost prohibitive, um, in the future. Um, we don't want to pay, uh, over inflated prices on gear when you can get it right now. Um, and this, this is, you know, this is a concern. So, um, the other thing is while we're talking about doing something instead of purchasing something, um, many of us, uh, we need to go, we need to go join the gym. Uh, we need to go for a walk around the block. We need to make sure that we are in shape, uh, mentally, physically, um, we've got to make sure that we are in shape. Um, and I'm talking to myself as well here. Uh, I'm no bodybuilder, but, uh, lastly, um, if, if you know what this is, then you know what it is. I'm not going to say it, but, um, grab a couple of these. These are, uh, these are really cheap. Um, you can stick them different places and come back to them later. And th these are cool because, um, it allows you to do some things that, um, that you wouldn't ordin ordinarily be able to do. So grab some of these. They're pretty cool. You can get them. Um, this is a metal one. Uh, you can also get polymer ones that are pretty cool. Um, and then you just need some tools to uh, finish them out. Um, barrels, uh, grab some, grab a barrel. Um, if you got extra parts, um, from different builds, uh, grab some extra parts, have an extra, um, lower parts kit, um, have a, an extra barrel or two, um, maybe different lengths. Um, that would be handy. And then, uh, right now that everyone's talking about the pistol braces, um, grab an extra pistol brace, even if you're not going to throw it on a gun. Now that's under the assumption that you're going to be grandfathered. And I don't believe that they are going to be grandfathering things when they were banning stuff back, you know, years ago, you know, stuff that was made before a certain date was still legal. I don't believe they're going to do that this time. If they do start banning stuff, they're going to say all of it is, which that's the whole thing about, you know, turning us into felons overnight. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen, but, um, stay, stay up with your, uh, with your representatives. If you don't know who they are, you need to find out who they are and you need to email them and make sure they know who you are and make sure they know what you believe in. Um, a lot of us are probably in red free States, but, um, some of us probably aren't. And that means you need to work even harder. Um, and then those of us that are, we can't be complacent because, you know, we're just, we're just real close to, uh, a lot of stuff being way, way, way different. So let me just go down my list here. Um, birdshot, good thing to buy silver, uh, camping supplies, uh, check out what you got. You might need to upgrade. You might need, you might realize you don't know how to use something. Um, uh, grab some water filters, flashlights, uh, things like that are always good to have. And I realized when the grid went down here in Texas for the ice storm, I didn't really have good flashlights. You know, I got a, I have a really expensive flashlight, but like, I didn't want to use it. And then, um, all the other little flashlights, half of them didn't work, uh, cause I had a bunch of junk. So I'm, I'm getting some, some better flashlights. Uh, and then, uh, water filters, um, go on a hike, go camping, uh, get in shape, grab some magazines, uh, extra parts for your gun and, uh, maybe a lower. So anyway, you run two, three, um, I'm gonna let you go on this topic, but we can go way further on this. If you're interested, um, if you have uh, things you want to add to the conversation, throw them in the comments. I'm always, uh, down there, um, chatting with people. So, uh, if you want to throw something else out there and we're going to keep, I think we're going to keep this list going. Um, there's a lot more we can do on this topic. So, all right, I'll leave you with that. Eagle run two, three. Thanks for watching.